Hi all, as promised, the witch is back. Um, I'm going to show you another example of a different inquiry paper um, to give you a better understanding of what kind of information is supposed to go into your inquiry presentation. And remember that the inquiry presentation or the inquiry paper or whatever iteration of this assignment is intended to prepare you for your position paper, which is a research paper. So think about the inquiry assignment as like, you know, the beginning steps of that. So I'm going to go straight into the example that I want us to look at, which is, um, oh, I didn't put myself as in, ah, okay. Now I go away. So, um, the effects of volunteerism on volunteers and host communities. So this student chose to write their paper on um, the concept of volunteerism, whether it's good or bad. And um, so I'm going to read the beginning of here where if you don't know what volunteerism is, the student explains it. Okay, so the Projects Abroad Volunteerism Company advertises on their website that as a volunteerist abroad, you will be best placed to discover a new country and explore its unseen side, learn about the culture firsthand, and play a vital role, role in the community. Volunteerism is a popular way to travel that involves an aspect of volunteering with the goal of giving back to a host community in a developing country. Companies send tourists to developing countries to do manual labor, work in schools, provide medical assistance, or interact with children in or orphanages. Volunteerism companies such as Projects Abroad advertise the splendor and adventure of helping others around the world. Volunteers often come, from, come home with stories about how life-changing and incredible their experiences were and how they influenced and improved so many lives. However, research has shown that in some cases, volunteerism is not beneficial to the host communities and can have lasting negative effects. Researchers have examined the positive aspects of volunteerism compared to the negative aspects. So this is a really good example where the student defines for us what volunteerism is and then defines for us what the debate around volunteerism is. Okay, so um, just to go through some examples, and again, as I said, I'm gonna be posting this. Um, the way this is worded, if you see working in orphan orphanages is generally considered by experts to be the most controversial form of volunteerism. Okay, and all this information she found out from doing research. Um, and I'll go back to that sentence again, hold on. Um, working in orphanages is generally considered by experts to be the most controversial form of volunteerism, as the children involved are vulnerable and malleable. So now you see, according to Andrea Leah Friedis, private orphanages are being opened in many countries without government consent by foreigners with good intentions. However, the owners often have little knowledge of how to run an orphanage or care for children. Additionally, not all these orphanages are properly managed or run. Okay, so um, this is an example of, you know, she, she goes through um, the arguments, right, about the benefits of volunteerism, the negative aspects of volunteerism, um, and she, she does this um, because she has done all this research and knows what the experts say, right? And some of them, you know, say it's good and bad. Some of them say it's totally bad, right? Some of them say it's really bad, but it still kind of has like good enough effects and so maybe we should do it or whatever. So um, that's an example of what an inquiry paper looks like. And so you would want to model your presentation after that. The point of the reason why the um, department switched from a present from a paper to a presentation was to alleviate some of the stress, right? That instead of having to write um, this paper, you would make a presentation. So think about that that same kind of information that is in these papers is what you're putting into your presentation. So you're defining what the topic is um, and you're showing what the existing debate is around it. Right. So you're just informing us. Right. So, for example, when I read this out loud, I said, OK, she's writing about volunteerism. And then I said, for those of you who don't know what it is, she's going to define it. OK, so that is the purpose of this um, 
assignment. So I'm hoping that um, these two videos are clarify that a little bit for all of you before we um, start class um, tomorrow. And um, I'm hoping that I don't lock myself out. <laughs> um, but I, I really, that I don't know why that happened. And maybe it's Halloween week or I don't know. I've never done that before in my life. This is one of the, the bad things about COVID. If you lock yourself out of your office, um, you go down to the English department and they get you back into your office. If you lock yourself out in your house, well, then you have to get a locksmith and all of that shebang. So, um, again, I really, really apologize for that. Um, and I know it's silly and stupid. So hence again, why this is, is here. Um, okay. So we're going to go over this, all this stuff again in greater detail in class tomorrow, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up of the kinds of stuff that we were going to be looking at, um, on Monday. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'll see you all Monday and, um, I'm hoping that this, that these help. Okay. Goodbye.